Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to explain how to use LinkedIn early on when you start your learning in JSS, whether you're trying to get go for that first job or whether you're trying to develop skills. But of course, the LinkedIn approach is going to be more suited towards people who want to get that first job because you really want to be out there. LinkedIn is pretty much the, uh, the, the platform that you want to be on right now because of professionalism because of how uh, easy it is for recruiters to reach managers to reach and you can directly apply to companies and that's why i think linkedin is very important so just to give you some confidence that uh, let's just watch some of the jss members for example majinder started with jss so if you scroll down you can see uh, the dmvit solution is over there and this is very powerful stuff when it's on the resume sorry on the profile uh, and also on the resume because if you have been following these videos, I am hoping that you downloaded this template, uh, basically, and you are w working on this resume at this point. You're getting more practical, right? From part one, I believe uh, you downloaded this and you have started some work. Uh, so if you look at it, if you're a member and you present yourself a member of JobSkillShare platform and you're trying to put this and represent this resume with confidence, Yes, this is going to start looking much better than a resume with nothing like this, right? This is all technical stuff. But the problem is that you still need to prove some of these things uh, that what do you mean by this? You know, like, can you prove some of the things or can you uh, attract some recruiters or companies right now? So you have to start immediately right from the beginning. Why am I saying from the beginning? Because a lot of people do this mistake. They tend to start the whole learning path, but this is a very long courses. The, the, this is a serious skills development. You have to get into these labs and, and invest time in it. So it takes time. You, so you don't want to be spending four months and then started uh, doing all these LinkedIn kind of stuff because of course, when you put something like that, and let's say you applied for a job, I'm just going to give you a scenario right now. You went ahead and you applied for a job where you're presenting your skills like this and a person basically says do you have any project to show us that how when you say documentation you have uh you know created some documentation for jss um and and you shared it um is there a way for you to kind of share that with us or when did you start doing that right so you have a practical uh proof or something for your own confidence you can talk about it. Then, you know, three months ago or four months ago, I started sharing my documentation on DMV IT solutions and everything like that. So, of course, uh, if you're not a program member, then you cannot put a DMV IT solutions as a company like this member is doing it. And, and then they got a job right now. He's he's working in this company. Another member, um, Jan, he's in Amazon right now. So scroll down. This, this is where DMV IT solution is. Bradley is one of our a famous member who basically is almost 19 years old, I think 18, 19, and he's become a sysadmin. Um, and he started from Giant Food, jumped into J JSS Internship DMVIT Solutions, and, and these are the program type of features that we offer. But if you are a member, you can still say that you're a JSS member. Of course, you cannot add yourself to DMVIT Solution, but you can say you're a member. It's still better than having nothing on there. So. If you're a program member, of course, you need to follow some of these profiles and kind of match your profile with them, you know, their titles, the way they're doing things. So my suggestion to you for LinkedIn is that when you start learning about, you know, uh, this, this information or this technical skills, start announcing that on LinkedIn, create some documentation for yourself. So what, what do I mean by what kind of what kind of documentation can you create? Can you just go to JS, uh, uh, you know, your premium membership and just pick any labs and start sharing that document? You cannot do that because these are copyrighted. So you cannot just go into these labs where it says exercises and then copy paste that kind of content on LinkedIn. Of course, that's not a, uh, not allowed. But what you can do every single member after March 2022, if you have purchased a light plus or premium membership, what you can do is you can use the sandbox which doesn't come with documentation so this is not a copyrighted material what you can do you can start this and then turn on all these devices and whatever you learn in jss maybe you're learning about active directory maybe you're learning about uh, managing computers maybe you're learning about managing windows 10 machines or you learn something new 
what you should do is create screenshots of what you're trying to achieve. Let's say you're trying to learn about Active Directory users and management. So go to LinkedIn and in your post, share that post and tag DMV IT solution company. So this is the company right here. You can start tagging it. So by tagging it, of course, anybody who follows this, because a lot of companies, when, when a company followers see this type of stuff, they, they make, they, they see it more legit, right? You, you're, you're saying, look, I am sharing my document with this company and then other companies quickly see it because a lot of recruiters go for the companies, right? They, they go, they look into these companies. So your, uh, views, on these blogs are out there for these people who are surrounding in, in your area there are a lot of technical person recruiters managers they're looking for you but you just need to realize that this is happening a lot of people don't even know that this is the thing you when you start doing this people start messaging you on linkedin directly hey are you interested in a job i see you have a good post and i feel like uh, you would be a good fit for our position so if you have to use this resume and uh, you have to defend yourself then start immediately by doing this stuff you can do a lot of different things create documentation you can create a video you can create and upload a video on youtube and then tag the tag it to dmv it solution in your post that this is my video um, i have done this project and i'm you know happy that i have learned today i have learned about active directory and stuff like that so if you want me to show you an example this is a great example right here one of our intern uh, um, who is taking a IT Pro Skills Development program. You can see what a great Sunday. My fellow teammates at DMV IT Solution and Job Skills Partnership have spent nearly five hours doing VMware AD and how to use servers. It's necessary to improve your hard skills if you want to advance. And, 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 and this is where he's basically adding all this and tagging us too because we have a lot of people following us like Kev. Kevin have a lot of people that follows LinkedIn. So you see this is how you do things right from the start so even if you're a jobskillshare.org member you can still tag us you cannot use this as a company like this member uh, on his profile but you can tag any post that you do you can tag and you can share your videos you can share your sandbox material that i just uh, shown that that is accept acceptable you can use your vmware stuff you can use a lot of stuff and people will start following you and at some point you're going to get a lot of attention because you're doing this stuff and that's very much what people are doing these days to get a job we have a, uh, an intern in our program uh, who got directly approached in canada and got a job just like that and he's happy doing his job right now so if you don't have a linkedin profile i highly suggest you do that um, and the best thing you can do is to come to our discord uh, communities like for example the job skills share discord community i'm going to put the link in my description share your linkedin profile when you start creating your linkedin profile come over here and then click on some of these profiles just to understand or maybe how to use your profile pictures keep it professional look at some of these and maybe go over some of these interns profile that we have helped them and they have received a job and somebody just joined right now so it's it's a regular thing I highly recommend you guys come over here because when you're new, that time that you're learning these courses is going to take you time. So you should take advantage of this time. Don't just finish your courses and then you're going to come and do these things because then again, you're going to be waiting for all these connections. So from day one, you should be putting your link over here, maybe multiple times, come back after two weeks and, and post it again. And this way you're going to develop connections and whatever you see all these links right here they they posted it for you to make connection right so right from just this one link right here you can have 100 plus connections immediately if you're brand new because you the, the thing is that if somebody will take you serious on linkedin they cannot take you serious if you have only five connections you you need a lot of a lot more connections than that so come over here, start adding all of these people because they put it there for you to get connected, right? So this is the easiest way to have a good connection, not just going out there on LinkedIn and, and connecting anybody else. You're gonna connect with IT professionals so then your surrounding and the post and anything around that profile is gonna be IT related because almost 90% of them are sharing something that is gonna benefit you in your career. So if you want to be a part of this then this is a free community come over here and be a part of discord and then ask more questions related to linkedin and then you're going to get a lot of help if you want to be a part of our it pro skills development platform uh, sorry development program 
the one that these members are using now we're directly helping them we're basically checking their profiles we're doing uh, giving them recommendations when they when it's the right time we, we give them references we give them job title of course that is JSS program then you have to take that program that's not a part of any membership you have to be a part of a job skills share skills development uh, program to get this sort of uh, mentorship from us so if you want to be a part of this program where we have multiple members right now and we're guiding them uh, in a hybrid way we give them materials and work on every single aspect that they will need then you're going to need to come over here and click on detail and apply and then you can join our program anytime um, you can this is a hybrid program you can join it any day anytime all right so that's it with our part one part two and part three and part three is of course uh important for anybody who is trying to get into a job very quickly or even moving up uh, i feel like linkedin is a key right now so go ahead and get practical you did some practical stuff in part one you watch some video in part two and in part three uh, you got more practical with linkedin and i hope after this you are joining the discord and you're sharing your connections and you're doing a lot more um, action in community because you want to you want to develop your skills that way the real way